Welcome back my friends. Today we're going to be looking at water droplet photography once again but I'm going to be using leaves, dried leaves and I'm going to be adding some interesting backgrounds to it to get some more textures to make it feel a bit more dramatic. So stay tuned. Hello my friends. Welcome back. I'm Leo. Like I just said, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to be taking some pictures of water drops using these, these racer leaves. And what's happened was a big dirty wood pigeon sat on my tree and broke it, so I thought, you know what, let's use it. Yeah, why not? These, once I'm dried, give a lovely, they have a lovely bends in them, and I, I've done some pictures of them before, and they remind me of really ori oriental type feeling. So what I'm today, I'm going to try, is I'm going to try and put some water drops on them, and make them stand out, so that it looks like it's a, a dragon or an eye or something like that. It's quite easy, really easy, easy. What I'm going to be using, my piece of glass, and this is mainly because I'm just going to put my piece of glass down. I'm going to break a piece off, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a bit of blue tack on my link clay like that, place it down, and place some water drops on. Then once I've got the water drops on, I'm then going to be adding different backgrounds, maybe this to give it a nice feeling, uh, my card ones, but you know, well, I'm just going to have a mess about and show you what you can actually make and put in, put in some value to your picture, creating a story, because it's a big part in photography is creating stories. So we're going to have a look and see how it works. It shouldn't be too hard to do, it, well I know it's simple. Camera, flash and whatever, but I'll set it all up and explain that to you in a bit. So if you're ready, let's get on. So my setup's ready. My Canon 750D, my L Faithful, my 100mm Canon macro lens, my flash. Now if you're asking what this is on top of it, this is from uh, Jam Bell, Crafty Bell's products. She's uh, sent me this in the place of my snoot, what I usually use, to try it and see how it goes. Because <laughs> she loves me that much that she says she'd like to see me with something different. So she kindly sent me this, which I have been using over a while now, but this one's a new one. This is actually a diffuser as well as a snoot, but I've used it today just as the snoot. So we've got that set up. I've got one nickel droplet on here. That's all I've got. Well, I'll put, the one, I'll put one droplet on here because I'm in a blue background because I want to give it like a, a sky, a light blue effect. So I'm going to try this one first and see how we go on. And then through the video, I shall try and move it around and put some different backgrounds on and see what we get. So let's go. It, these are the settings I'm going to try and start off with. I ain't saying these are going to be the overall settings, but we're going to have a look. I'm going to take a test shot, see how it looks, then I can add some more backgrounds to it. Now I quite like that one. You can see the water droplet at the top. You can see how it comes through, pulls through. Now it looks a bit lighter on there, but believe me, it's a bit more darker than what you can see. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more colour. I want I want it even lighter now around there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and shine some torch around it, just to try and get some more along with the flash. Now to you this might look a lot lighter, but trust me I know, <laughs> it, it, it's doing the job. So I quite like that one, that's a, a nice start. But I want some more colours in it really, so I'm going to have a quick play around. No. Don't like that, even though that should have been lighter. Oh, that's looking a bit better. All I've done there is place that bit of leaf, the back of... Ooh. All I've done is place it at the back of the water droplet. Let's try and move another one around and try and put another frame together now so you can see. So now I'm going to try it with some milky water. As you know, I love my milky water, so I'm going to have a go with this now. We'll fill it up. Does it normally go to the top? Rub my finger around it to make sure all oh, got everywhere. Just just a bit of filled. 
blow the bubbles away and let's get it set up. I think this looks nice in this. I'm hoping it looks nice. Get off my finger. Well, just make sure it's sort of level to where I want it. I'm all set up now with milk and water. The only thing difference is I've got one of Jam Bell's smaller diff uh, reflectors on now. Now all I'm going to do is get my cards and use the light. And I'm getting some great results already. As you can see, all I'm doing is manipulating the cards, moving them about to get what sort of background I want. <clears throat> okay, you can see my settings now. These are my current settings that I'm using. I'm at 1, 100 for the power, F10, ISR 100, and now my flash settings are 132 with the power. All I'm going to do now is start adding some backgrounds, the cards, to try and get some dramatic th dramaticness in it. Mm, not really nice. Oh, that's a bit better. And I like that one, that looks like a serpent coming out of the water. I do like my blue. There's a bit of reflection dropping back as well. I could say. Let's try a pink one. Not pinkish. <coughs> Ooh, that's nice. Beautiful, looks like a sunset. And I like that one as well. Shall we try a yellow? Shall we try a green one? I ain't done a green one for a bit. See if I can pick one up. <clears throat> Not keen on the green. The green one don't want to play, does he? Not too bad, I suppose. But how can I get purple from green? That's not too bad with dark, but I like my dark feeling. So there you go. I'm quite happy with some of those results. Let me know what you think of them, I should put the pictures up at the end. It's been nice, it's been good. It just shows a bit of old leaf, you know, a bit of branch across the leaves and make a good picture. I am going to carry on again once I've uh, finished filming. That's why I haven't put nothing away. Quite happy with it. I'm loving Jan's uh, diffused light reflectors. Absolutely brilliant. But the guy's wires in. I can bend them where I want. And absolutely working brilliant. And what happens is it is on here, you fit the diffuser and it bends down. Just like this one. Because I don't like my diffusers to be thick. Where some people like them to be thick and diffuse. I like to lower my power and my flash and shoot more natural. So Jen's made me this, come up with this. I will leave a link to Jen's products. I was hoping to get outside today, but no point, and I'm sorry about the background noise because my neighbours have got a cement mixer going in the back garden, but there ain't nothing I can do about that because everybody's entitled to tell things. Now if you enjoyed it, please subscribe if you're watching, please share with your friends. If you have more questions, please leave them in the box. I'll leave links to Jan's products, like say, and I shall put some pictures up at the end, but please comment. I am looking at a Facebook page, don't worry, I haven't forgot, I just have a lot of things going on at the moment. So, I hope, and like I said, all your pictures you've been sending me are absolutely fantastic, so I can see you getting better. So please stop telling, turning around and saying, 
I wish I could get a picture like you because I've already proven once that you can get a picture like me and you have got a picture like me. So, you know, I can see the improvements that you're doing. So if you can't, I can. So listen, until next time, you know what I'm going to say. Stay safe and happy snapping.